Welcome to the next edition of Blast from the Past, 1920 Divisional Matchup. Welcome to Ooh. Is that taking you up? Or is that your phone? That's my phone. I'm trying to put your game into the playlist. Okay. <clears throat> the Dayton Triangles at the Buffalo All-Americans. Now, have you started yet? Apparently we've lost John temporarily. There he is. No, we haven't really lost him. Why is that there? There's just... Wrong button. The Dayton Triangles are being represented by the Indianapolis Colts because through a long roundabout process, some believe the Colts are the Triangles. I'm one of them. The Buffalo All-Americans will be represented by the Buffalo Bills because, well, Buffalo. Frank Bacon versus Oki Anderson. Legendary quarterback matchup. Hmm? Yes, it is. I got to remember that Coach it's Wednesday. Fever has come to upstate New York, and a I'm going to give a quick thank you to uh, John M's girlfriend for getting him this um, headset, this Hunter Spider, because I went out and got one myself, and it's very comfortable. Yeah. This will surprise. be my second game using it. <clears throat> well, they didn't give me the blue helmets for whatever reason. Let me see that. Probably because you hit something after you started uh, the... Possibly. It looks like they just defaulted me to the default away. Yeah. So the um, Buffalo All-Americans were the second, were the runner-up, no, third place team in 1921. The Akron Pros won the league championship. The Decatur Staley's finished in second and the All-Americans third. If I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. There is some controversy over team scheduling games and whether or not certain teams should have been considered for championships or not. But back then, basically, the owners voted on who to give the championship to. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here. On the mm. I'm ready for winter to be over. Mm -hmm. He'll look to throw. And this time He's caught. Oh, it's going to be short. I don't know. I was going to say, I think you're short. <laughs> yeah, fourth and inches. It was close, but, um, but it's most fourth and inches. It's up to you. I mean, we'll see. Will he gamble or will he punt? I think he's going to gamble because he's taking a sweet time. Oh, no, he's punting. I don't believe it. The Bills send the punter out. He'll kick it away after three and out on the opening drive of the game. Okay, not a good punter. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Can't quite oh. see who the punter is. I don't remember. I was more worried about whether you're going to try to run it. They go play action here on first down. Oh come on, he threw and there. There is the sack. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest. By right Buck right? Gavin. Gavin sacked Bacon. The blitz that came defensively, they got right after him. Fried him up. Oh, Lord. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. Oh. He's got a man wide open, complete. And he's able to get up here to 26. It'll be a pickup of 50. It's a healthy. Being up third and four. 
Chuck Helby on the reception. Oh, oh, I see. Phantom Fighter says no one can watch this game and root against Bacon. Well, I'm going to fry Bacon up. I need to root against Bacon. <laughs> going for it on fourth and three. He caught it. Helby on the reception. Helby a reception. Helby of a reception. Yeah. Vinny is determined to get as many bad dad jokes in as possible. He's run by Lou Partlow as he partlowed the defense. He's tackled by Brace. I guess he'd be shackled by Brace. That guy totally ran the wrong way. Which one, Parlo? Yeah. 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 I won't. And Bacon sizzles down the field. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes the score seven nothing. Oh, man. he likes to play with it though. Yeah, Ryan, um, welcome back. Yeah, apparently YouTube isn't sending out notifications anymore on channels you watch all the time, because I never get them either when the other guys are playing. <clears throat> and also comments don't show up on in-game play, so... Unless you're a troll, you watch I a troll yesterday. Oh, you had a troll yesterday? Well, uh, yeah, he only told you two comments, but... They showed up on your screen. No, well, you don't have the comments on your screen. Well, yeah, I don't have the comments, on, but I was watching it on my phone. And you could see it. That's what I usually do. I don't turn the comments on the screen. I just turn the phone on. Pat Smith on the carry. Picks up seven. That storm's supposed to start tonight, isn't it? Enjoy. That's fine. Love you. It's snowing like big flakes right now, like huge size flakes. Huh? Out my window. Yeah, no, it's supposed to get worse later. Huget. Tommy Huget runs for one yard. The only thing I can suggest, Ryan, is just stay up on the playlist, check them daily, see what you missed. The series you like. To follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Maybe YouTube will get their shit fixed. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Anderson completes to Smith. Yeah, 
If you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Smith ahead for three yards. There and it'll be second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right in Chicago. I played in my. Uh, now we've got that artificial surface. Oh, yeah. The uh, Phantom Fighter says the Broncos sack the future will be following this game against the Dallas Texans. I still got a sack the Oilers game. I'll probably end up doing yeah, the Oilers good. game tonight. I was going to say, about 11 p.m. Eastern, it'll be the Buffalo Bills and the Boston Patriots. And sometime around then will be the Oilers and the Atlanta Falcons. Semi-pro team. Led by the one semi-pro quarterback that got to keep his name because he earned it, Kirby, ba uh, Kirby Berger. Hey, can you imagine if Frank Bacon and Kirby Berger were on the same team? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. That's almost like required now. We got to find two kids that are getting up near the draft age and groom them to be on the same team. That are named Burger and Bacon. Well, if you had some guy whose last name was Double and then was a quarterback, wide receiver, and, and running back, you'd have the triplets of Double Bacon Burger. Right. I think that's what we're gonna have for lunch now. Double bacon burger. Pat Smith on the carry. He's not getting much. We need to find out how to get the ball to Tommy Hugget instead of Smith. No, no, the, the, the All Americans have kind of bland names Anderson, Smith, Miller, Shelton. Back to throw here. Ooh, wide open. Bacon breaks his leg. Pass complete to Murray Shelton before Bra Frank Bacon can um, cut him up. I don't know. <laughs> Running out of Bacon jokes. Bacon cuts the fat. No, oh, he says you need to get a, a Bill Cheese in there too. Double right. bacon cheeseburger. I'm going for that. Oh. Anderson overthrows Miller on the pass. Hey, uh, Phantom, I thought you were watching the bonus game. Did you did you finish the bonus game or are you going to finish that later? What were you going to say? Uh, 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 apparently, the uh, gift I got, my girlfriend, arrived Second early. She just sent me a text message. Why did a KitchenAid get delivered to the house? <laughs> it <laughs> says, don't worry about it. It's early. <laughs> what we got in? There's a run by number 27. So that would be one of the last guys created. Since I number 1 through 27, I can't get my laptop to work. Red Werder. What was that celebration? Red Werder. I don't know. I didn't see that. I was busy looking up the guy's name. That's okay. Maybe it was. Maybe his name was Red Werder. I don't know. Oh, and he misses the extra point. And we got to play in some defense. He said he switched over because 21 nothing the bonus game. Yeah, the the Cardinals jumped all over the um, Eagles. The Eagles have had a rough start in '62. Slackford. Can I just call him Slacker? I don't know. And the Colts coming out now. And they're hoping right. to read the reference of the last drive when they got into the end zone. Yeah, and little dude finally succumbed to his because nap time. Touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, 
it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things. So anyway, I was, um, my brother and I are doing an off, off camera league, using the '85 roster that I teach history created. Uh, yeah. He's the Raiders on the Bears. He, he beat the Dolphins 56 nothing, but I hadn't been able to play in a couple weeks because we've been in Sack and Future mode off mm -hmm. season. So I played just this morning, and um, I beat the <coughs> Cardinals 70 to nothing. We're, we're playing on rookie because it's his first in a long time. Right. But Walter Payton gets hurt early in the game. So I was struggling the rest of the way running Matt Suey. Thomas Smith and even William Perry just to get through the game the blocking the timing of the pass to the runner everything has to fit together just right but on that play the defense was able to disrupt things and up with 300 yard rushers on third down he'll drop the throw going down the middle and it's complete and they were just making a 6 for 6 the 21 he is just sizzling <laughs> now back to throw. Oh, I <laughs> jumped. I switched I to the that. defender. Yeah. And why does he only have one sleeve? I don't know. Listen, you don't question the bacon. No, 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 no. Smith, the defender. I switched oh, I to know. him. And, and he jumped. He could have intercepted it if I had I not switched. Ooh, that guy's skirted. Oh, really? You guys ran into each really? other. Really? Oh, the first open. incompletion is because he was oh, defended my by my own guy. That, by the way, is uh, Al Mart, number three. <laughs> Al Mart, the godfather of Walmart. Just a couple there on the second down. The grandfather. He didn't have self checkout there. Phantom Fighter says Bacon is the greatest non staley in this league. Yeah. Well, you know what? The only the only human versus computer playoff game was the Canton Bulldogs versus the Dayton Triangles, John was controlling the Bulldogs, the Triangles are the computer team, and, well, as you see, the Triangles are still alive. Oh, Bacon steps up. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Colts in possession of the football to begin quarter number two. Well, that's the end of one with the Dayton Triangles leading the Buffalo All-Americans, seven to nothing. Oh, he dropped it. Come on. That's technically a completion in the end zone. I've seen them hold the ball a lot less than that and get touchdowns. It's basically just got to touch your hands. <laughs> I don't know about that. But... Ooh, high snap. Hartlow just running somebody over slowly. <laughs> Slow motion. Brace. Well, that's the thing. He ran into Brace. Brace braced him up. Held him up. We are so going to go back through all these videos, write down every one of your dad jokes, and put them in a book. Hmm. Go ahead. Because it won't that's, sell much. That's rich. There is a nice user sack by Youngstrom. Swede Youngstrom out of Dartmouth. It's always nice when you have a guy named Speed. Sounds like a cowboy. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Really? Bacon is stop. incomplete. He was Bacon was broken up into bits on that play. And now the All-Americans take over. The All-Americans, the forgotten. 
football team in Buffalo. Go through a couple name changes throughout their nine years in the league. The All-Americans, the Bisons, and the Tigers. Or the Rangers. Yeah, the Rangers. They're about as confused as a 13-year-old boy in today's society. No doubt. Pat Smith up the middle. Pat Smith and his generic name get up a generic three yards. <laughs> uh, at least I find them funny. So, if you're new to this, the way this works is I throw an interception to um, Bacon. Oh, come on. Is it Bacon? It's yes, Bacon. It's Bacon. <laughs> Pat Smith on the tackle. The way this works is in the AFC side of things, I pick first, which means no matter what the team is, John will never be the Buffalo franchise, whether it's the All-Americans, the Bisons, the Rangers, or the Bills. And the NFC side, he picks first, which means I will never be the New York Giants. Now, there are going to come some times in the future probably where I will definitely end up not being the Falcons if they're playing the Cowboys or Eagles or something. I'm sure John will stick me with them. No offense to Eagle fans. I'm just John's a giant fan, so that's how he feels. That, and we totally probably don't care if we offend the uh, Cowboys fans because, oh well. <laughs> And the same thing with the if the Oilers are playing against the New England Patriots, a Tom Brady Patriot team, like all the Titans would be, I guess, then. I'm not taking Brady. No. <clears throat> well, I don't know. Maybe early on when he had players like or Ty Law was there. And I would Brown. bench Brady before I ever use him. No, oh, you're going to be the Patriots and Brady in the future, trust me. Yeah. It will be the second string quarterback that comes in and lights it up. We try to create space for your running back. The first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they yeah, leveraged them and won the battle. They'll run it now. Oops. The last divisional game for Blast from the Past features the Hammond Pros going up against the Chicago Cardinals. John will be picking his team there, but the Cardinals have not been edited yet, so it'll be a little while. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that, because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Hauser. Well, he dodged the first guy and then he gets the second down. Al Mart runs right into Oki Anderson. There was a blue light special. Nothing on, on hits. Down, so the ball remains at the eight yard line, second and goal. I need to make a big play with this guy named Little. I guess it'd be a little big play. Oh. <laughs> they get it to him running left. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Now it's third and goal. I think I just turn around and hand it to my tailback. I think they're fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Spreading them out. Here comes third and goal. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the six. You, I was going to say, he was in, man. Come on. <laughs> he was wide open and had plenty of space. Dutch and what steal. in the heck? Was he just doing well, the Dutch or whatever the heck that was? I don't know, maybe. When it was popular. Dutch steal on the reception. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Point after, up and good. And the decision to just kick Touch the out of Denison College. Now that all Americans are trailing. <clears throat> In an ironic twist of things, we have a playoff series where the Colts and Bills are playing each other. Yeah, right. This 
Kind of like Sack to the Future all the time. And this will be a touchdown. <sighs> Phantom Player says if you let John have Brady, you might throw for a thousand yards in one game. I'm glad you feel so positively about my defense. I could take any quarterback putting on the Patriots and probably do that. I think you are. Oh, yeah. Because Brady is overrated extremely. He's a good quarterback, but he ain't nowhere near GOAT. Red Werder. The only people that promoted him to GOAT were Patriots fans. You know, it was interesting. I was watching a, a, this TV show on the History Channel called Project Blue Book. And yeah. um, at one scene, this military operation, a uh, senior officer comes in and the junior officer sitting on the phone talking. And he's talking about how great Otto Graham is because mm -hmm. the thing is set in the 50s. Yeah. I was like, exactly. Otto Graham is the GOAT of that era. Oh, yeah. But like my like one of my buddies, Adam, says he can't really have a GOAT, G-O-A-T, greatest right. of all time. Because it's so hard to um Well, the rules change every so often. <laughs> yep. you, you know, you've got different stages. Yep. So it's more likely that you'd have a GOAT, G-O-T-E, greatest of this era. Yeah. And in that case, Brady's been around long enough that he's actually pretty much gone into two eras. I could almost deal with that argument, especially winning six Super Bowls and going to nine. I will say... Not, Post ever Peyton Manning. Well, even with Manning around, although Manning has done something that nobody else has ever done, he's won Super Bowls with two franchises. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no! Oh, 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 go, go. Where are you going? Run backwards. <laughs> Why were you running? I was running forward. I don't get that. Well, forward is relative. <laughs> the Bills on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This is third and seven. So, Phantom, you didn't do the Broncos and Texans game after this. Are you off from work today? Is there another snowstorm going through Wisconsin or something? There might be. I know the Midwest is all sorts of screwed up right now. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not? Oh, yeah, he's getting hit with lots of snow in Wisconsin. That's yeah, where he's at. If there's contact coming from both sides. No flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And they won't try and pooch it. It's a fake. Oh, oh, come on. Scramble and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here they're going to be the goat. Unfortunately. See, now they're talking about the goat. I'm listening to my announcers. You're, you're either the hero or the goat. Yeah, I like, that too. It's like, what the heck? Like, that's obviously not the same type of goat. Yeah, the Buffalo Americans just don't seem to. I'm gonna make some adjustments here. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Ah. They went nine one and one in 1920. To go here in the wow, they're not playing like it today, that's for sure. The Dayton Triangles, on the other hand, went 5-2-2. Two, and two. Oh, no, he's he's got other stuff going on. They only got an inch. Now, who measured that inch? Was it a guy? Or was it a woman that measured that inch? Because that makes a difference. Wait, what? What? I'm missing something. He here. said they only got an, they've only got an inch of snow. Oh. So I asked to measure that inch. Was it a male or a female? Well, that would probably determine how it was measured. Hmm. I mean, if you've got your own measuring stick, that's just weird, but whatever. That's not the play I picked, but okay. We'll go with it. 
That's totally not the play I picked. Well, I still, if, if I can come back and win this game, I gotta remember to fix that guy's sleeve. Apparently, he had it ripped off early in the game. Oh. Pat Smith on defense, but he puts it back on when he plays offense. By 5 o'clock, most of the East Coast will be under snow, ice, or rain. Yeah, we're supposed to warm up and get freezing rain. Did you move, or did you just turn around? I moved. I tried to juke. It didn't work, though. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I always say never leave the points on the field. It could be 20 to 6 if you kick field goals. He says, John, you sound like the PA announcer uh, or in a tunnel on this channel. Huh. Well, that sounds weird because he sounds perfect in my ear. My voice is a little off today because I slept in a very dry heat. So I'm a little thrown off there. But um, I can tell what he's hearing because I can sort of kind of hear it myself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> of course, both of us are sporting brand right. new Hunter Spider headsets. Yeah. If uh, the makers of Hunter Spider ever see these videos, and I'm just giving you a little shout out. While I'm not paying attention and I get crushed. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. <laughs> he says you sound fine on your channel. I wonder why the difference. I wonder, um, hold on, maybe there's this volume thing have anything to do with it? I doubt it. That's just what you can hear in your head. Yeah, it turned you down. I'm just going to blame it on YouTube. I'm just going to blame it on YouTube. As well. Wow, that was a good kick. He didn't have to move at all. At this point, I'm pretty much resigned to the fact that we will never have comments on screen again. I think that that is broken beyond repair and they're never going to fix it. It's not it. I think the new normal is to be watching the game on the phone at the same, or laptop in my case at the same time they're playing. Oh, I thought he had that. Man, they really want me to do Which that. Also right means, there. Which also means on the replays, <laughs> I'm pretty much pretty sure the chats are gone forever on the replays then. So you're going to hear us answering questions that don't make any sense. It makes plenty of sense. It's just nobody's in on the joke. <clears throat> Pat Smith and his ripped sleeve get the tackle. Wow, and so Bacon is action. broken up. Bacon goes down on a pit of grease. You know, as much as I was glad to win that game... I forget which one. I am really sad that we're not going to get the bacon versus chicken Super Bowl. That's okay. <laughs> but the favorites, the league champion Akron Pros, escape with a win. And the Decatur Staley's blow out their opponents, so the top two teams are still alive. Wow, that was just Oki Anderson. Uh, terrible. Why is he not running? Now he shows up. Okie Anderson with the interception, and then if he had any speed, he might have been able to go, but he doesn't. So we're going to go to halftime. We we'll scored Dayton 14, Buffalo 6. So one of the reasons why people don't necessarily believe that the Dayton Triangles are the Indianapolis Colts is because that 
the franchise was sold back to the league a couple times and then sold back to other owners and those owners moved them. It happened when they went to Brooklyn then went to Boston and then went to Baltimore from Dallas. But for purposes of my, it's the same franchise slot, like the same Everyone has someone assigned to how did each play um, block they just took the block from one guy and gave it to another so that's why I believe that they are the Indianapolis Colts the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up we'll see if they take the <sighs> Mr. Davis and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line that play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down now, this is an example you got an itch, chew it at somewhere else. Don't knock my coffee over, dog. <laughs> All of a sudden, my tray started moving. I'm like, Hell no, we're not losing my coffee. And he's sacked by Weldon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this. Yeah, Bodie Wilden on the second well. time and time again. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Sex third. What the heck? Stetter? That's just weird. Sex Stetter? He's going to float this one deep right side. Really? He didn't try again. Okay, oh, Anderson in the second interception. Bacon just lofted it up into the air. First possession of the third quarter and interception is going to be a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old Pat Smith kind of forgot to get moving. Opie Anderson, the rookie out of Colgate. And as a defensive end, getting off of course, they're all rookies. Swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Detroit! Detroit! On the give, this is their fullback. Tommy Hugot pulls forward for three yards. Seven coming up. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. The Bills on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Oh. Incomplete. We're into the second half now. This is an offense that can trade the quick hitter, but it wasn't doing. Looks like they're just totally out of sync. Whether they're running the ball, passing the ball, like we saw there, I don't know. The rhythm seems off. The Bills send the punter Ooh. out as he'll come yeah. on to kick this one away. And this is away. It's a high kick. Wow, he's he actually backing up. Wow. This okay. Is at the seven. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Colts mm -hmm. offense. That was. Is ready to see what they can do here. Nope. Don't have that name. I read the name wrong. Here from either side these it was on the few return. Drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get that contract? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And Man. they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones. Why did it? Down. 
They keep wanting me to do a play that's just One stupid. Play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Oh, well, well, that doesn't really matter. Because. Picked off at the 47. Sheltered on the interception, but boy, I ran right by you on that sack attempt. Yeah, you did. Murray Shelton at a Cornell. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. I just don't have any speed at all on the ground game. So a loss of five, and it'll be second <clears> down. <throat> well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. I don't know how many chances you're going to give me? I need to capitalize at some point. Yeah, right? I'm just making dumb plays, I guess. No time whatsoever. It's a team game, but sometimes individuals do stand out, don't they? How about that for a twofer? Tackle for a loss on the running play on the previous down, and then comes right back and gets a sack. Third down and 21. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Oh. It's caught inside the 25. He catches that one. Yeah, he caught it. All the way down inside the 20. And a big 32 yard play on third. Converts on third and long. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see. The offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big Heine Miller on the reception. Those guys made that play possible. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, oh. he should have picked that up. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball. Second down and ten. Down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw it for it there. Nice effort to knock the Alvin away and bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Incomplete. I need incomplete. I need Miller to hold on to that one. Overreach. You'd better be quick with your delivery. <laughs> Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, Third down and it's ten. almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. <laughs> Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Yep. Popped in the air and intercepted. It's most likely going to be pass interference. I just blocked my own well. Yeah. My cat and dog just got into a skirmish too. Yeah, pass interference on Lou Parlo. Brings it back. You can decline that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Everything looked right. It looked like it was in their favor. Returned it for a touchdown, as you just described. But instead, oh, the penalty for interference nullifies everything. They come out here in the eye. Well, well, that's going to not be a pick six, but at least it was an interception. <laughs> I don't know why they uh, didn't let him get up, but that's ridiculous. Yeah. Sometimes they do in the bonus game last night. Jurgensen was ran over by his own man. They let him get up and throw a first down. <laughs> Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. 
I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation oh, also by the defense. Is it me, or does the entire field kind of resemble a maxi pad? Nah. I have when no idea what you're talking about. When you look at it from the sky... It's got the two wings on the notice. side for the benches. Give them nine yards on the second down screen. Oh. oh, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was a little Sure. Still ended up with a solid game. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%. Three of six to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Well, where is the blitz? I ran a run blitz. Where was it? I don't know. 24. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. Well, they oh. avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do oh. that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't Ooh, there's a blitz. Ball, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Come on, seriously? This time, Tommy Huguet with Every the interception. Every time I throw to that guy on that side, he can't even come back to Bacon. try and fight for it. Bacon slicing it up. Being served up. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm out of jokes. It's all right. Where are you running, Pat Smith? Nowhere. That's where. <laughs> Sucks and don't have a running game. I've got to work on my rating systems. I, I think I need the running backs to be better than the quarterbacks. Whoa. We'll deal with that for 1921. Wow. Heine Miller pulls that one out of his hind end. He gets reception, but only gets two yards. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Bills on third down. He's just been under all kinds of pressure, and yet on the other side, I don't get any pressure on Bacon. Good play. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few doubles <sighs> to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, well, they Heine have Miller out of punt again. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. This is fielded inside the five. What did I just do? I'm assuming that well, was a hit. To hit. <laughs> well, yeah, but he stood up. He looked, he leaned forward, or he like he was gonna try and hit, and then he stood up and watched. Yeah, because he whiffed it. Wow. There's a range for it. If you ain't putting range, you end up doing the whiff animation. Tendency breakers and try and create some offense. Well, they always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, uh, you lock into a rhythm and uh, make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. 15 rushing yards. Oh my goodness. That was just, I don't know what that was. That was just. They're trying to show that they can run the For the first lead. down, it was Give perfect. It the back, a little bit of keep away, don't you think? Mm -hmm. And that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now they try the right side here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 40. Partlow's gone over 100 yards now. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. 
Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. And he finds a man on the crossing route. Damn it. That was kind of a weird catch from a little it. A gain of three yeah. two that time. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. And the fans of Buffalo aren't liking this. After three, Dayton leads 14 to 6 and are driving for more. Bro, oh, wait, you have intercepted me like four times already in the you know. So how about this for field position after the big play? <clears throat> Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll go on the ground. Yeah, but I got no no pressure up the middle. Even though I'm calling pressure up the middle. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football. Gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take a try. It's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And they'll be Saves himself. Losing yardage to the nine. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll bring up a third down. No coverage. Target, it's caught for a Colts touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Colts add on to their lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody. But those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Extra point splits the uprights, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Oh, Lordy. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. So I do believe I will start ordering the parts for my computer this weekend. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone. Sounds good. Touchback. Which is exciting. Here's the Buffalo. Because this thing should last me a good decade plus, and will be completely upgradable. Well, I mean, they're always upgradable, but it's uh, kind of future-proof. Gone through a whole bunch of different builds and reviews and everything, watching everything I could find on these parts and stuff, and there's so many different ways you could do it, but I feel that the one I'm going to finalize here is uh, more of what I want. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. All right, this is the time of the game. I don't know if that's what I want to do, but sure, we'll go with it. They've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to get those up. They've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, Anderson completes to Hugot. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. They'll look to throw now on first down. Ooh. Incomplete pass. Averted, almost picked. Instead, second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more what? passes like that downfield. Mike Tyson what? once so offered a zookeeper ten thousand dollars to fight a silverback gorilla. Makes sense. I think oh, he's counting on, on his punch to take him out. What he doesn't realize, though, is reach. The reach, yeah. Reach and the fact that a silverback is way stronger than he is. 
You like the way I said that in his defense? In his defense, I got yeah, it. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He okay. needs better protection, that's for sure. The Bills on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be a tough third and 18. He'll look to throw. And incomplete, the contact makes the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We have not well, seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything they don't get this. has been contested. Allows you to score again and just really put the game away. They've been very oh. We're only well, down by two scores with 5.51 left. It can be done. And that's why I said if we don't get this, where we are on the field. Getting the block, and there's a whole bunch of people there. Uh oh. Oh. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Wow, that was just weird. It's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. <laughs> Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's gonna take to slow him down. After the loss to start out, here's second and eleven. They'll run it now. Ooh. That was just forever in a day. But this time they get him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And they're gonna be staring at a third and long here. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now, third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Almost got the there. It's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard <clears throat> line. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Well, let's see. Oh, come on. Just run. Why would you stop like that? You catch the ball in on the run. Anderson with his third interception. He's just not helping himself offensively. That's <laughs> correct. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh catch the ball. My guy was paying attention. That would have been awesome. I don't understand why this is so hard of a concept to understand. The ball is in your hands. Squeeze it. You might be 1920 names and rankings, but we're playing modern football. Catch the ball. Injury timeout to Pat Smith. Back at the 20. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on He's the all shook up. We return to Orchard Park. The Bills on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. This is third down and 12. <laughs> They'll drop the throw. Whoa. And he's the going to be intercepted a third time. Get away from the pile. <laughs> God, he's what? <laughs> he wasn't down apparently. How was that not down? But the Muscle guy, cream. when he laid down and didn't get touched, was down. <laughs> I don't know, but they're saying Pat Smith has muscle cramps. Oh. Shit, in 1920, muscle cramps pretty much the season any injury. You kidding? 1920, they probably. I don't know where I'm running. <laughs> It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. 
Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. After a play like that, there should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. So time to start. Man, the, the jokes that could be made of all the commentary. Oh, he played the ball and I missed it. I don't know how. I was not expecting to get in on that play, but I thought I was going to get tackled immediately. Uh, I ran because I was playing the ball. Seems like they've been running uphill all game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this embarrassing effort. These last six quarters and blasts in the past have absolutely been embarrassing for me. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, here come the Bills. Has it been six quarters? I thought you won the last game. Maybe I'm not thinking right. No, now. you won 55-27. Oh, that's had a right. 24-7 lead. Yeah. Had a 24-7 lead in the second quarter. Wow. Oh, I hit the ball to throw it. And then from that point on, you've outscored me. Hold on. 55 and 48. 73. No. 83 to 9. They're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Line of scrimmage again. The 20 in, the, in Sack of the Future, I have a three game human winning streak, and I took down all three of you back to back to back. But in Blast in the Past, I can't do anything. Now back to throw. But his pass is intercepted for the How does it feel like you have a perk to intercept that ball? Oh. So now I'm left with a decision for the AFC Championship. Do I go with the franchise the that I would have rooted for in the Dayton Triangles? Uh huh. Or do I go with the undefeated Akron Pros, the league champs? You know, when I've got two decisions to make, I flip a coin. I might be. <clears throat> You've got the choice, the next choice the Chicago Cardinals or the Hammond Pros. Who is the Hammond Pros again? They're the Philadelphia so Eagles. The I go with the air. Pros. And this will be a touchback. He will get um, over the end line. Now Gil the Falcon gets ready to head back and his field. second and of his two teams, teams that are still alive. Because unlike Sack to the Future, I don't um, right distinguish who played for who at what point in the season. If they're on the roster, they make the team. So if they only play in one game, you're on this roster, especially considering that they only carry 18 players. Right. So even doubling them up, having guys play both ways, plus having a kicker and punter, I'm only at 38 players. Wow. Unfreaking believable. He's picked off at his own 46, and they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. That's like oh, what, apparently we're twice or three times that type of interception has happened. At least twice. I don't know. Like I said, it was 14-6, and I kept getting the turnovers. I needed to convert, and I wasn't converting. And then all of a sudden, it's gone from 14-6 to 35-6 to to in the blink of an eye. Apparently, um, Phantom Fighter has declared this game over as he's starting the Sack of the Future game in a minute. Uh, I don't know if you're still watching or not, Phantom, but I won't be able to watch live as I'm going to be driving into Watertown to 
take the kids out to lunch, so I'll have to watch that game as well as the Giants Lions game still at another time. Just a one yard pick up there, it's gonna make it third down at six. Yeah, after this I gotta have lunch and then uh, I am requested on PUBG to whoop some butt there. I don't know what that means. It's that player unknown battlegrounds game. Oh, okay. But if you're not really like into shooters or anything. Yeah. I basically do sports and that's it. Yeah. I'm boring like that. Where the hell am I? Oh, okay. I'm on a 36. Yeah, whatever. Two minute warning. Colts call on their field goal unit here. Looks like a 53-yard attempt. And his kick is good. <laughs> and they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out as you Now see. the Hammond Chicago Cardinal games short, don't know exactly when it will be. Get up. Bad. What the hell? Because I've still got to edit the Chicago Cardinals. I did get an onside kick yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches. I couldn't get two in a row though. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Take a great look at that My best comeback ever, though, was uh, I did four onside kicks in the fourth quarter. I got two of them. I ended up beating the Patriots with the Giants, like 38 to 35. And I was down 35 to 3, I think. I forget. Either way, I, I had to score well, like would five times. That. It was nuts. I was going to say that would match the greatest comeback of all time. But that was like in Madden 12, I think. Hmm. Mine was actually Madden 16, Bills versus Colts. And I scored 21 points in the fourth quarter to win the game. And it was the 86 roster, so it was a very poor Bills team. Yeah. But I did have Jim Kelly and I did have Andre Reed and that's what I used. And that's gonna bring up a third down. Oh, he got the first down, though. Yep. Oh, I didn't want to go no huddle. Buffalo making some moves here. Five interceptions, I think. That's all right. I think I threw three to one guy. You did to Ogie Anderson. So, between the ones he's caught and the ones he's thrown, he's been involved in eight interceptions in this game. <laughs> They'll look to throw here on first down, sliding out of the pocket. I missed that sack. This one what the heck was that? The now the I know the game's over. Hey, listen, I ain't going to play. As he'll stop it with a get some more points. Something. That's all right. <sighs> Back to throw again. Oh, he did get in. At least we end the game on a positive note. Oki Anderson, the Heine Miller for the touchdown. Touchdown. Work on my onside kick here. Good, and that will cut this lead down to 25. Give you a chance to work on your onside kick return. 
<laughs> so despite the huge deficit, they're going to keep fighting. Here comes the onside kick. Ooh. That was, <laughs> that was horrible. too shallow. Yep. When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. <sighs> So the AFC side is set. Dayton will take on Akron in an all-Ohio battle. If the Cardinals can beat the pros, it'll be an all-Chicago battle. Well, Decatur is not Chicago, but an all-Illinois battle. To get to the game, they can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. Dayton has now gone through the mighty Canton Bulldogs and the uh, nine one and one Buffalo All Americans. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Uh, With that, we say so long mm, from Buffalo. Five and five for each, huh? Yep. Oh, I just realized. Uh, comments don't show up on the screen, so somebody commenting, I'm not paying attention. I see we got a, a guy late on. Not exactly sure what he says, but I was the Bills. I got my ass kicked. But that's going to end this game. Thanks for joining. Till next time, I'm Vinny Vincent. He's John M. We'll see you later.